What the, the project with ScotRail was the hydrogen powered train, and the train has actually, they have an electrolyzer that sits beside the track that runs and it produces hydrogen in some big tanks beside the tracks. They then park the train beside it, they connect it up with a actually very small hose, um, and they fill the tanks on the train with hydrogen. And then that hydrogen is just used to produce uh, electricity, which then runs the motor. So it's an electric train, but instead of getting the electricity from overhead wires or from diesel, like the trains we're used to, um, it uses uh, electric. It uses the electricity from hydrogen in the fuel cells. So, according to some reports, today Scotland produces more green energy than it needs from likes of offshore wind and other sources. But of course, the wind doesn't blow all the time, so you can't take a power just from that. So we still use energy from other sources, uh, like oil and gas, and from burning a gas and uh, such like for power. The government's targets to produce 50 gigawatts of electrical power by 2030. A gigawatt of power will provide power for about a million homes. So technically it's only a few years away in terms of what we can produce. The challenge is making that green energy available all of the time, which means we need to find some way to store it. So battery technology or hydrogen technology, something needs to be developed that allows us to store it for when the wind's not blowing, and that may take some years. So if you're an optimist, it's probably within the next sort of five to ten years. So we're working closely with the Port of Nick and the Port of Commerce Perth um, to accommodate their uh, transition and to support them in their transition uh, with renewables. At the powerhouse, uh, we have a network of different uh, stakeholders in offshore wind and, and, and green hydrogen, where we're able to connect uh, different stakeholders, such as the Port of Commerce and the Port of Nick, uh, to accommodate and support the upcoming renewable energy projects. The Port of Nick is expanding in terms of the infrastructures and its capabilities to accommodate more renewable energy uh, projects. Um, they are expanding their infrastructures to accommodate the fabrication um, process in the future. Um, yeah, that's it. How we convert hydrogen uh, into electricity is typically by using a fuel cell, which is uh, a simple device um, which like a petrol generator, converts the chemical energy in the fuel to electricity. Fuel cells um, convert the hydrogen directly to electricity. They um, take the hydrogen and the oxygen and recombine it to make water. Fuel cells are much more efficient than generators, can be up to twice as efficient. So you get twice as much electricity as you would um, from a fuel cell than a petrol generator. Thank <laughs> you.